Despite winter weather and the COVID-19 pandemic, Terre Haute's VA clinic is set to finish construction by August, and one local veteran says he hopes being able to receive treatment locally will save him and others a great deal of travel time. Mike Iggy has been receiving treatment from the VA since the year 2000. He says for years he's had to travel for some services due to them not being available locally. If I have anything major that needs to be done, I have to travel to Indianapolis for any outpatient type of resources uh, where I understand that the new VA clinic care will have will be providing those outpatient resources. After breaking ground on the $40 million facility in 2020, VA officials say they hope to see their first patient in November 2021. We will accept the building in early August. Um, that will mean that the building is up and ready for us to occupy. Then we'll start the process of moving in everything it takes to run a clinic. That will both be equipment, medical equipment, um, supplies, um, furniture, and as well as getting staff here. The new clinic will offer more outpatient services and expand on some others. We'll be expanding our primary care and mental health services, but we'll also be offering optometry, audiology, uh, more physical therapy. Um, we'll have a dispensing pharmacy here, which are all great enhancements for veterans. And we also have space that in the future, if we see demand, we can maybe rotate some specialties through here, such as cardiology and others. Iggy says he's excited that he and other veterans won't have the burden of traveling far to receive care. It fills my heart with joy knowing that my fellow brothers and sisters, veterans, can come and not have to worry about getting a ride, calling, a, depending on someone else to drive them to Indianapolis or to Danville, where they can now take a cab and get there in a relatively short time at a very cheap cost. Veteran Affairs invested $9 million into the Terre Haute facility and they plan to lease the building for at least 20 years. In Terre Haute with Local News That Matters, I'm Lindsay Jackson.